Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to show you my favorites from 2017. The first thing that tops my favorites list is gum. And I really got big on gum this year because I really started getting a little bit of motion sickness. And when I, I noticed that when I sat in certain seats of the car. And if I'm not behind the driver for some reason, or I'm up in the front passenger seat or driving, then I get really bad motion sickness. And so this chewing, this uh, gum, this peppermint cobalt gum, helps me with that. And I love this one for church because church is three hours. So I'm able to pop one of these sticks in and go. It'll last the whole three hours of church. And I'm able to not have stinky breath for church. Then the other one that I have is Trident Tropical Twist. And I love this one because it's a kind of like a flavor burst. And I chew it every once in a while when I need kind of like a little bit of just like a flavor change. Like I've had taste of something bad or something during the day. It just kind of gives a little bit of a flavor boost or a little bit of difference to the day. The next thing on my list is these socks here. And these socks I got at Sam's Club and they are by Reebok and they are performance training socks. They have a reinforced heel and toe and they have this little arch support band on them and then the mesh, there's mesh. I don't know if you can tell. It's typed like a, well not mesh, but it's a breathable type material there. And I go through socks quite a bit. And so to finally find a brand of socks that doesn't wear out as fast as the other socks that I wore did, I am happy about that. And as soon as these ones wear out, if they wear out, then I will buy the same brand of sock again. So the next thing that is on my list is this bed frame here. And I got this off of Amazon. And it has been a lifesaver. It saved my back. I originally had the mattress on another bed frame. It broke, so the mattress and the box spring were on the ground for about a year and a half, I want to say. And I just broke down and bought the bed frame. Maybe it was longer than that. Anyways, I just broke down about mid-December and said it's a birthday Christmas gift to myself and have enjoyed it ever since. I love how spacious it is underneath the bottom so that I'm able to put my laundry basket or other things that I need under there for storage. And I read some of the reviews before I bought it that it was tall too tall for people to sit on and still be able to do stuff but for me that's not the case I'm able to sit over the edge put my shoes on I'm able to sit on there and read a book or something and have my feet dangle comfortably the next thing on my list is this thing right here this little where's there it is <laughs> this little light thing I got it at the Dollar Tree and it is, it's their book light, but I love it because it just clips onto the edge of the table here. And I'm able to move it around when I need to. And it's bright enough that when I do read in bed or when I need just a little bit of extra light in the middle of the night, it's bright enough for that. The last two items on my favorites list, no, I've got one more after this actually, but the last little bit here that's on my list is a couple of makeup items. And the first one is this lipstick by Revlon, and it is in the shade Pearl. I am not a lipstick person, I wear a lot of lip gloss or chap, just go with chapstick for the day and this shade is not too bright and for me because I've 
used a few lipstick shades that are just way too bright for me. And the second thing, reason why I love it, is because a lot of the lipsticks I've worn just really wreak havoc on my lips. They make them either really dry or they, I kind of have a little bit of a reaction, I think, to them. And they, my lips just really peel really, really bad. And so this one doesn't do that. And then I have really loved, these have been, I think, my saving grace almost this year because there's been a few times that I have pulled some very late nights and have the dark bags under my eyes and it's just terrible. Anyways, it is the Age Rewinder, Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. And I mix these two shades and it hides the bags enough that people don't sit there and stare at them. Anyways, I have well, this one is in the shade of Honey and this one is in the shade Buff Beige. So I just mix these up with a little concealer and I feel covered. The last thing on my list here is books. I have been really obsessed and I haven't got the la latest book yet in the series but I have been obsessed with books by Jennifer yeah Jennifer Moore I made sure I got that right and her series and then I have been obsessed with Sarah M. Eden and I think that's yeah and I've oh and Tracy Hunter Abramson and I got those done and so also there's books by Tara Montgomery and I loved trying out new authors and this time I am trying out a book by Tiffany O'Ark called Love on Point and then I have another book by Renee S. Clark called Love Jane and lastly here Lucky in Love by Cassie West and I'm excited to read these three and test them out and see I also got was happy when Hank Smith put out a book called Be Happy so I actually because I did some new kind of I guess rearranging and things of furniture and stuff I had I put most of my books in a box because of space issues and things so these are the ones I have out and from here to here I read these ones and then I have and I've been listening to books on CD and so I have two of the books that I haven't read I've got Sarah Meaden's Romancing Daphne now just because I've got a ton to read and then I have Mrs. Whitaker Opens Her Heart by Sarah Meaden to listen to. And then I was listening to a book, which is the last Nephi and Tennis Shoes book. Well, it's book 12, I think is what it was. And it left you on a cliffhanger, and the last one isn't out yet. Mmm! I hate it when that happens, but I got the Tennis Shoes Among the Nephites one today. And then a talk that's on the from the bookmobile as well here. That is, it says, Heroes Lessons from the Book of Mormon from, by John, by the way. So I'm excited to watch that later on. But anyways, those are my favorites from 2017. And this year, so those are, I can't wait to see what becomes my favorites. Oh, and I love that calendar. <laughs> I had a Shaytard's calendar last year and let me back up here one more thing actually hold on here Ooh. okay so seeing this calendar reminded me of one more thing that I love or liked last year love and this I printed out an online calendar last year to kind of so I have okay so I have my one calendar here that is just kind of so I can see the dates and I will write just events that happened that day or something on there and then I have this calendar 
for keeping track of more things and I'm able to write on this calendar and I feel like I have more space to write things than these other calendars do. But I found this calendar from a website called iMom and they have calendars for mothers and things and calendars for kids but I got the calendar for the mothers <laughs> because well, it, like I said it's got more space and the little tops here are have cute little decor things on the top. So I've just got like April says I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Just little fun cute decorations on the top. So anyways, those are my favorites from 2017. Oh, and I fell in love with stuffed animals still. Anyways, those are my favorites once again from 2017. I hope this video made sense and that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's book review, the first one of the year. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.